Good afternoon, everybody. It is Fab Tuesday, which is the Tuesday of the month where Fab give away assets. We get free assets to choose from and redeem. And this time we have this warehouse environment. We've got this werewolf mythical creature and we have a magic spline plugin. What we do on this channel is we take a look at all of them. We show you how to use them. And then in the end, we merge them into a bit of a game. This one's a bit of a silly game and we show you the ins and outs of them really. And so it gives you a feel of them without having to download them yourself. If that's something that you like, then stick around, drop a subscription. Let me know which asset is your favorite asset. So to start things off, we've got this warehouse asset. This is a highly detailed asset. It's really nice. It's an environment asset. It's about three gigabytes to download. So we'll take a look at that. We'll take a look at this werewolf as well. This is a werewolf. It's not like it's got animations. It's got three or four skins in there as well. It looks really nice. And it was super easy to integrate as well. And then we'll take a look at this magic spline plugin as well. This one again is actually really easy to use. So it's not like the most exciting asset, but it is really easy to use. Yo, it's a K-pop demon hunter's werewolf. It's got patterns. Tell you what, there was a movie that I watched as a kid that was like, it's one of those really bad horror movies. It was called Dog Soldiers and it was set in Scotland. Uh, and these werewolves, they remind me of the werewolves from Dog Soldiers. Apart from this one, which is obviously a K-pop demon hunter's werewolf. But these are cool. Let's see. There's nothing really too fancy about the animations. Is there an attack animation? Cool. We've got an attack animation, which is nice. And then we've got the basic walk, run, movement cycles, and a death cycle, which is cool. And we've got lots of different types. And a fursuit for when you want to skin one alive and next we have the magic spline plugin which is a plugin so we need to go to uh edit and then plugins and we want to choose the magic spline plugin spline mesh editor is that what it's called yeah spline mesh editor feels like the new one we made this triple scale games. So they've named the plugin Spline Mesh Editor, but their actual plugin name, that's going to cause confusion. Isn't it? So we restart our computer. So now we've installed our plugin, we're going to come and create a new blueprint class of a type. All classes, and then we want this Spline SME Spline Mesh Actor. And we're going to say yay to that. Then we're going to drag it out into the world. And I'm going to press Alt to get some more spine points. Like so. And then I'm going to drag this middle one out. So it's a bit more curvy and wavy. So it's a bit more fun. Select the spline actor. And then spline layers data. I'm going to add one. And then here we can add a mesh. So I'm just going to add cube and you can see it's made a little bit of a fence. It seems super easy to use uh, meshes data. We can say that it's using a static mesh and I'll block it out. And we can say that it we can deform the segments to like merge together. So we'll like merge them all together. Mesh distribution. We can put a gap in between these. It's a snakey snake. Snakey. And we can use the default mesh size. So there's lots of stuff in here that is called cool. segment length. You can add more segments here, which increases the number of segments here. And then we can just like put some offsets in here so we can do some rotation. So that make it rotate around and stuff. Got some twisting stuff in here. So the this is this is interesting enough and like cool enough 
like build fences with it and build pylons with it and stuff. But it's not anything that I haven't already seen, so it doesn't doesn't overly impress me. Like it's cool. Like I'm cool. I'm happy to get something for free. But on this one, it's not something I'm. It's not something I'm overly bothered about. I wouldn't go looking for it, as it were. So yeah, I like it. It's nice. We could probably use some of the assets that we've got in here to do something. So if I had like a good looking fence or something, there is a fence. Where did I get a fence from? Now I've got a cool looking fence that I've twisted and deformed because I was having fun. There we go. There's your partial fence. Don't get me to build anything in your backyard. So this one's pretty self-explanatory. The tutorial uh, paperwork on there is pretty good, actually. Um, so that's a positive. Now what we're going to do before we well, go into our warehouse is we're going to go to our third person character and swap our mesh to be our werewolf. Wolfie boy should be able to run around there we go. as a werewolf. I do still have a tune shader on here, so let me just quickly whack that off. So there's our werewolf running around. Super easy to change our character. Might want to change the size. He's leaning a little bit if you use the proper animations rather than the standard idle ones I'm sure that would be better but ain't nobody got time for that and then here is our other werewolf as well and we just split him in half just for a giggle but uh, he's broken uh, if you want those assets we did a previous video on those those are free so that you can use them but anyway back to what we were doing uh, here we have our warehouse then we change our world settings to have a game mode with our third person character. Here we now have our wolf running around our game mode, hunting down other actors. You're about to hear the worst voiceover for an imaginary game that I've knocked up in. 10 seconds, so I apologize in advance. Oh, dude, no, it's a werewolf. Oh, dude, no, he's got me. Run away, run away. There we go. And this is a very silly game where we run around and cut up people inside a warehouse. But in fact, the, the level here is nice. Uh, I've, uh, I think at this point I'm just never really a fan of environments for free. I just get so many. This one has a lot of props in it. Ignore that. I've put that in there myself. It has a lot of props in it. The props are made up of blueprints and static meshes. There's some like there's lots of boxes in here. There's lots of um, like props in here. It does have an outside, but there's nothing to really see in here. So now it's like Fallout, but I'm playing as a werewolf. So now we go inside and murder everyone. We'll use the big door then. And there we go. There's a, it's, it's cool. Like These are highly detailed assets and they are nice for what they are. It's just another environment. But out of the three that I like, we got here, this werewolf is... Probably my favourite, to be honest. 